and good late afternoon. Yes, I am just starting to vlog today because I have been busy packing all day and um, I'm guessing that the next few days or a week or two will be more kind of bland vlogs while I work my tail end off getting this house packed up. Um, so let me just show you what I was able to do last night and then this morning and this early afternoon. Um, let me show you what all I've got packed up. So here's our homeschool space. So I've got the majority of our stuff from that bookshelf packed up. Um, lots off of that bookshelf packed up. We've got some lots of books. So all these boxes here are packed. Puzzles and games, children's books. Guys, I'm a book hoarder, apparently. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't even know. I can't get rid of books. Um, so all of this is packed up. And then um, a good bit in here. Well, not really. Just that um, bookshelf there. And then I got this bathroom packed up in here pretty, pretty much. So everything is off the walls. Everything is packed up from here, the rug, um, started working on the mudroom. So it looks kind of messy in here, but all the containers and bins have been packed away. Um, let's see in here. Okay. Everything for my curio has been packed. These are some toys of Mason's that are packed. Um, all the DVDs from that shelf, all of the books from that bookcase have been packed. So all of that. And then in here, here's more of the homeschool stuff. Everything from this bookshelf has been packed away. Lots from up, up here and the things that were up there. Um, I'm gathering all of my Halloween and fall decorations to put those back in the bin. Um, here is the wall art kind of stacked up against the wall here. And then a lot of the whiteboards and magnetic boards there. There is another um, box and some things that need to go in another box. So here are the boxes in here. That's the mudroom stuff. Uh, these are things from down here. Huh? Hang on a minute. So those have been all packed away. The drawers are empty. No, not right now. Not right now. Um, this, this, and this is getting... No. No. <laughs> Those are getting sold at a yard sale Saturday, hopefully. No, we're not doing that because Jacob is mowing the grass. Jacob's mowing the grass. Jacob is mowing the grass right now. Um, so look guys, it's starting to look empty or emptier anyway. I have moved more and more stuff. Oh my gosh, Matt. Into the garage. She's having a fit. I'm just going to let her have a fit and walk away. Um, there it is. I keep moving more and more stuff into the garage because I want to get rid of so much stuff. Also, um, the house that we are moving into is 1,800 square feet. This house is like 3,800 square feet. So, huge difference. There's... Um, there's going to be a lot that I need to get rid of. I'm going to have to get creative. I'm also going to have to get brave. She's screaming, sorry. So I'm going to have to get kind of brave and get rid of stuff. But that's really not a problem for me. I'll tell you what is a problem for me, apparently. Getting rid of books. I cannot get rid of books for some reason. And I don't know why. I just can't bring myself to do it. Maddie, come here. Oh my goodness, that girl, she wants to go outside. But uh, Jacob is mowing the front yard. And uh, she doesn't need to be out there. Um, but I'm completely out of boxes or I would still be packing. So I need to head on over to Home Depot, pick up a few more. I'm still looking in on Craigslist to see if I can find some free boxes but there's just none out there and a lot of people are selling these boxes for almost as much as it costs to 
buy them at the store. So, um, anyway, I'm probably going to go get some more boxes today. Come on. Come on, come sit down. You want Jacob's busy, honey. You might get hurt out there by the lawnmower. Come here. Oh, my goodness. Alright, so we have been out running a few errands. Um, I had to go pay a bill, so I went by the bank, and then I went and paid the bill, and then I was going to run to Home Depot and get some more moving boxes, but I thought that I would check Craigslist one more time, and I did, and I actually found someone who is giving away moving boxes and free packing paper. Um, so I, the only downside is it's about 40 minutes, 35 to 40 minutes away from here, but it will save a ton of money. So, um, I'm going to wait until, cause it's rush hour right now. So I'm going to wait until the traffic dies down. And then this evening, um, Jimmy and I will ride out and we will pick it up, which I am really excited about. So that will save us a ton of money and the last time that we moved we were able to move our entire house um, on boxes that were given to us so I think that is just really really nice that when you move if like especially like if um, someone gives their moving boxes to us and then after we're through with them we can give them to someone else because you know they're boxes so I just feel like it's a good idea to you know share that and pass it along to someone else who needs them so yay i don't have to go spend a bunch of money on boxes which feels like such a waste of money so um i'm excited about that so we're headed back home for a few minutes until rush hour kind of dies down and um we'll grab a little something to eat and um all that good stuff and then we'll be waiting for daddy to get home and we will go pick up our boxes but if we were like eat at um I don't know if we're eating. No, we're not going to eat this all Cerritos. We need to eat at home tonight. Come on. It's just been so busy. I know the next week or two is going to be crazy. Like, I just know it's going to be like probably eating out all the time and just days filled with packing and homeschool, trying to get homeschool in. What, sweetie? No, I'm excited about moving to the house. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. Mason's no, excited. I'm glad you're excited. I can't wait to go over there this weekend and do some work. We're gonna, first we're having our yard sale this weekend. That's the big thing on and Saturday. Then we're gonna move to our big house. Then, the rest of the weekend, as if that's not enough work, that is gonna be like a tremendous amount of work. But the rest of the weekend is gonna be spent um, working on the house. We are gonna be pressure washing it. We're gonna be doing lots of painting and carpet cleaning um, and probably general house cleaning as it is so um there's also lots and lots of leaves in and around the house that need to be cleared so we're going to be working on that so there will be a lot of work involved this weekend and um and we, and we need to put beds in our room well we'll do that after we get the carpets cleaned and the walls painted and all that good stuff mm -hmm. so it's gonna be a busy 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 busy, busy weekend very busy and the, I'm going to be exhausted from the yard sale. I always am so tired after yard sales. And then to have to pack all that back up and then head over and do all that work at the house kind of makes me like dread having this yard sale. But I'm actually kind of excited about it because I'm, I need to get rid of the stuff. I don't want to move it. I don't want to just drop it off at, you know, Goodwill because I just... I need to recoup some of the costs for some of the stuff that we have and it's good stuff you know we spend a lot of money on it so I'm so hoping that we can recoup some costs and have a good turnout Saturday and then I'll probably end up having another yard sale um, next Saturday as well so lots of work ahead guys lots and lots of work moving is so stressful and it is so tiring and um, on the other hand I'm just so excited to do it like I'm just so ready so ready we've been looking and looking and looking and now we have somewhere and I'm just really excited about it so all right I will see you guys at home hey guys so what we did was we went to pick up the boxes tonight 
So we drove, um, kind of, almost dropped the camera again. So we drove kind of far out and we took the van, which was probably not a great idea. And we had all of us in there. And so the lady was giving away all of her boxes and all of the packing material. And we crammed every last ounce of everything that we could get into our van with all the kids. It was a little bit comical. So everybody was just jam packed in with boxes and packing paper. And um, we were planning on picking something up for dinner while we were out. And um, we couldn't like get out of the car once we got so packed in there with all of the boxes and everything so we ended up coming home and it was kind of late and um we ended up ordering a pizza Ugh, i didn't really even want a pizza but it was basically the only option that we had so that's what we did and um we just got through eating the pizza and i remembered that we still had a movie to return of mason's that he never even watched from redbox so daddy went out to return the movie and I just got Maddie ready for bed and got myself kind of in my bedtime clothes and pull my, I always pull my hair up in a ponytail at night. And um, we are just gonna settle in because Miss Maddie has only had about a half an hour nap today and she is quite the tired little girl. So um, at least I have some boxes, which is phenomenal. And tomorrow is the day that we get to go pick up the keys. So I'm excited. Tomorrow uh, evening. So I'll be packing all day tomorrow. We'll get to go pick up the keys. And um, we will be able to do some work on the house this weekend. The only thing that I'm stressing out about right now at this very moment is the fact that I'm supposed to be having a huge, huge yard sale on Saturday and my garage door will not open. That is a major, major problem. Because <laughs> all of this stuff is in the garage. And I was just out there putting together some boxes and I was looking at all the stuff that we have to sell. And I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, like what are we gonna do? I need to get that garage door open. So I guess the only option is I'm probably going to have to move it all back in and carry it out through the front door because I have to have the yard sale. There's really no other way around it because in two weeks we have to move and I have a lot to sell and I don't want to move that stuff over to the new house just to like, you know, put it in storage or I just don't want to move it because I don't want it, you know? So my gosh it's gonna be a tremendous amount of work I am not a hundred percent sure that I will be vlogging every single day this week or even next week um, I will probably be vlogging every day but I don't know if I'll actually be able to edit it and get it up every single day um, I'm gonna do the best that I can but please please be understanding with me if I don't you know one day here and there get it up because it's gonna be lots and lots of work just to get out of this house to get the other house ready we have lots of work lots of painting lots of cleaning um we're gonna also have to aerate and seed the yard and um try to get some grass growing around the sides and the back because it's quite muddy so um that's what we're gonna do miss maddie bear are you ready for 90 Hey. Really? Are you delirious? Look. What? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Do you like that movie? Look at those circles under those eyes. <laughs> Let's go to sleep, okay? All right, so it is time for me to start editing and get Miss Maddie Bear to sleep. All right, see y'all later. All right, so we have been out running a few errands. Um, I had to go pay a bill, so I went to the bank and then I went and paid the bill. And then I was gonna run to Home Depot and get some more moving boxes. 